So I've been seeing these amazing videos about Mario touching grass, not touching grass, you name it. But it got me thinking, what about water? There's four things you can expect from a classic Mario game, and that's grass, sand, water, and lava. So in this video, I'm gonna see how fast I can get Mario to touch water in every mainline Mario game that I can get my hands on. Starting off with Super Mario Bros. on the NES, we make our way through the first two levels. Taking the warp pipe to World 3, we find ourselves a nice watering hole to end Mario's life. But I wasn't sure if this should count since we don't actually float, so I'm considering this as the background. So what I did was I restarted, but instead of taking warp pipe to World 3, we head to World 2, clearing 2-1, and in 2-2, we find ourselves submerged in the nice blue stuff. Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels is way more difficult than I remember and probably why I had no clue where some water was in this game. But we make our way through the first level and in 1-2 we head up the vine to World 3 trying to survive because I have a skill level in this game even a mother couldn't be proud of. Either way, clear the first level and down the pipe we go to 3-2 to finally touch water. Super Mario Bros. 2 is kind of irrelevant due to the fact that you can't seem to swim in this game. I spent nearly an hour trying to touch water in this game and finally came across World 4-1 where I took the plunge into the icy waters to find out that you don't float. Moving on. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 3 I thought was going to be the easiest out of the trilogy on the NES. Boy was I wrong. The fastest route that I found was to clear the first two levels of World 1, make my way through the castle to grab the flute, and I luckily picked World 3 which seemed to be a trend at this point, and what do you know, I was right. We found water in 3-1. Ah, refreshing. Super Mario World is still one of my favorite Mario games, and it served me well with this challenge, being one of the easiest games to touch water in. All you have to do is clear Yoshi's Island 1, heading up to the yellow block switch, we briefly submerge into water in the overworld map, clocking us in at a minute and 26 seconds. Next up we have Super Mario 64. This was the fastest of all the games, but first take a look at the 60 frames per second HD textures on this game. It looks so good. All right, as I was saying, this was the fastest game taking under a minute to get Mario swimming as we have water available to us right from the start, right by Peach's Castle. Super Mario Sunshine was another really quick one as you can probably guess, or if you played it before, you were basically in water the entire game in some form. So all we have to do is wait for the cutscenes and as soon as I have control of Mario, we jump off the edge in the clear waters. Super Mario Galaxy was just another waiting game. Most of the time was strictly cutscenes. After we gain control of Mario, after Bowser destroys Toad Town, we can simply walk over to the fountain and finally touch water. New Super Mario Bros. Wii was pretty simple as well. Complete the first three levels in the mid castle and enter 1-4 and it drops you right into a cool death filled pool of cheap cheeps. Next up we have Super Mario Galaxy 2 making our way through the tutorial onto Peach's Castle. I was really hoping to find a fountain of some sort or some water to jump in by Peach's Castle. But that led to no avail. So we clear the first star of the game, taking us to our brand new spanking Mario head with some nice water running down my skull. I've never seen a more dry Mario game in my life. This took me nearly 36 minutes just to touch some f water. Anyways, we made it through World 1 and on to World 2. What would you know? A f desert. Of course, a typical Mario game. So I clear my way through the desert, which led me to a fork in the road, finally leading me to the sweet oasis, sparkling waters. I mean, look at all that blue stuff. Super Mario 3D World, we just wait for the cutscenes basically to play through, and we dip our toes in the shallow waters here in the first level of Super Bell Hill. Super, super easy. Bowser's Fury was weird. As technically we were touching water from the start as Mario dropped in, it was pouring rain, but I won't count this as this was technically out of my control. So instead, I grabbed the cat shine and jumped off the ledge into some water right before we talked to Bowser Jr. And finally, Super Mario Odyssey. We start off on Bowser's ship getting knocked off into the Cap Kingdom where Cappy wakes us from the fall. I thought I was going to have to grab Cappy and make my way inside where you grab the frog. But luckily there was a little puddle of water right here in the beginning for me to get Mario all puffy cheeked. As we sign off and Mario takes his last breath in this video, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and shout out to Jorts and Nathaniel Bandy for inspiring this video. But honestly, the real question is, how fast can Mario touch lava?